I'm pretty sure God wasn't a proponent of slinging your twat to thousands of men digitally on OnlyFans. Just a thought, just a thought, <laughs> T-H-O-T. It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods, yeah. <laughs> Oh, he's back with the almond face. He likes the almond face. <laughs> it's fucking 9.20 at night. BK is calling my name, but something different. Ooh, the sun is blasting. She's going down. Been at it all day. And then I went motorcycle, dirt cycle riding with my Faja. And we just got back and I'm just like vexed hungry. Something from BK is calling my name, but we're going to switch it up. I'm either wanting this like a chicken sandwich and a poutine but they also have this like maple bacon burger with like barbecue sauce and bacon and crispy o's and shit so i might just get that i think and uh i think i've decided yes maybe i'll do that burger opted for this barbecue whiskey maple burger thing very out of my wheelhouse actually but uh we're gonna try something new that being said though there's a sign here saying that the debit and credit is down they accept cash so we might not get anything here actually because I don't have cash. It's a digital society. We're all cyborgs now. <laughs> we have phones in our hands and cards. Cash is still legit. We shouldn't ever go cashless because that's the end of like any sort of autonomy of your life and the government and everybody else, IRS, CRA, all these places knowing every single dollar that you earn. So going cashless would be the worst possible scenario in life though convenient uh not the greatest but we are moving into the technocracy like i've said we're all going to be transhumanism cyborg well not all the those of us who aren't billionaires we're not gonna have that we perish those who are billionaires who are obsessed with becoming god uh they're going to transfer their consciousness into transhumanist bodies exoskeletons if you will robo men and they're going to live into eternity here on this beautiful place i mean the earth's beautiful but the people who run it not so much tyrannical slave drivers <laughs> pretty much he's going too far he's got too deep but it's true just you wait <laughs> progression leading to regression and genocide huh did he say that out loud i think he might have he's got a few things to say today some observations about this world <laughs> he's coming unsheathed less almond all right sock secured many catch the mail Let's get into this. He is starvational. Woohoo! Quite the mapley aroma, I do say. <laughs> Jeez. Retro wrap. Very retro wrap. I just got a single because, I don't know, sometimes the doubles are just too much for me, like a double whopper. A nepa. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. This is different. That is not the same boat canoe-esque style poutine that they usually have it's now round and it looks like it packs more so that's kind of cool but uh this burger and this poutine together and a water or a pop 15 1592 16 dollars wow all right we've been doing this lately right bringing in for the real thing so let's have a look at the interior of this. I asked for pickles. They hooked it up, a little cheese, some barbecue sauce, crispy O's, we got pickles. Nice, looking good. And y'all could call me crazy, but uh, I don't mind the mayo barbecue sauce mix. It's kind of my jam. All right, case closed on that, that should be good. And then, no and then. Crack into a hot poutine and of course, we have to hit it with the ketchup. Food porn moments up close and personal. I feel like I haven't had a BK poutine in quite some time. All right, y'all. Cheesy, cheesy poutine. 
And like I said, I think there's more in here than the old one. But I don't know if they charge more now, so who knows. Uh, the gravy could have been hotter though because we got no cheese pull. Still tastes fantastic. All right. I got a little observation. I've been cruising around Instagram a little bit here and there. <laughs> and clicking into some... nice looking women's pages only to find <laughs> that uh they're luring dudes in and in their bio <laughs> they've got like the cross emoji and the prayer hand emoji And then it says, God first. And there's a lot of these God first people. Even dudes. Mainly flashy dudes. With, uh, you know, the Gucci, the Versace, the Prada, the Maserati, right? God first. And the women then after the God first, second, have a link to the OnlyFans. And uh, I'm just a little confused. I'm pretty sure God wasn't a proponent of slinging your twat to thousands of men digitally on OnlyFans. Just a thought. Just a thought. T-H-O-T. <laughs> now, you want to do that, that's fine. But uh, I just feel like these people, these God-first people have... things ass backwards now I know God doesn't want you to be poor right but it does seem to me in this world it seemed to me in this world we got a lot of delusional religious folk who wear the rosaries and the cross and all these things, but they're up to a lot of devilish activity. <laughs> and then they all say like, glory to God, God's plan. Was it God's plan for you to sell your body online? Was it God's plan for you to sling coke and be a gun runner uh was it god's plan <laughs> for you to start a remote location a warehouse where you set up cubicles and women uh you oversee women selling themselves via like live cam because like there's like guy andrew tate if you've never heard of andrew tate that's how he got rich And then he's out here touting that he's the ultimate alpha male and blah, 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 blah. But it's like, you just digitally pimped women <laughs> and uh, took a portion of their profits. So are we really that righteous here? <laughs> That said, 
I've come to understand that this world, it's like the shittier, shittier you are, the more judgmental and exploitative of things that you are, the better that you do. So, uh, I guess I'll just, I've joined the club, being a glutton for money. <laughs> So I guess I'm in the same category, so R.I.P. Sorry, bro. But we gotta eat. So maybe not that bad, but who knows? It's interesting. It's interesting to observe who seems to profit greatly in this world. And their activities that yield them their uh, their money. Very interesting. But hey, God first, right? <laughs> All right. This bird. Very uh, country barbecue. Got that sweet mapley bite to it. Pickles were good out of there. That next bite's a good bite. But yeah, man, I'm this close. <laughs> To just start starting a podcast. And just start judging the world. Just be a judgmental prick. And call it comedy. I feel like that's what comedians do, no? It's weird. The state of the world, cancel culture. Everybody gets a trophy. There's no winners and losers. All that type of stuff. I know it's supposed to lead towards like a better... more understanding world more inclusive world but it also feels like you literally just can't have opinion anymore on anything because then you're some some just I don't know just some self absorbed <laughs> judgmental fucking asshole prick But don't we need to have opinions on things? To kind of steer our ship through the world? To properly navigate? But you have to run that risk. Like, you have to be willing to just say, fuck it. Take that route and get everything that comes with it. So positive, negative, backlash, whatever. I just feel as if sometimes we're living in the upside down.
where anything ego, material, judgment, it always wins out. But that's entertainment. Because people love to be triggered and have opinions and, and call you a fucking asshole or agree with you. Because there's always going to be different groups that feel a certain type of way about what you say publicly. And what gives you the right? Well, free country, free speech. And if you don't have the bullsh to post yourself online, then I do, then that gives me the right. Because <laughs> you can start a channel and say, say whatever the fuck you want to say. Just like everybody else does. So, I don't know. It's interesting. Anyhow, my thoughts for the day. That burger, meh. Whoppers are redundant here, but should I just call it Whopper? But I did want to try it. I've been seeing it, and I was like, I, I want to try this barbecue burger. But really, it's what it was, a, a barbecue crispy onion burger. Nothing special. Um, nah. But I was starving, and I had to eat, and I figured I'd share a couple thoughts with you. All right. Till the next one. You good. Live well. Stay true.